What's going on guys, Robinson DUP? Um, listen, yeah. hmm. how am I looking guys? Not too bad, right? Still lean? No half natty lighting, no Photoshop. Anyway, you know me, I like to be real. And I got involved in bodybuilding a couple years back, mainly as a pursuit of just keeping myself in better shape and giving myself something to compete in, be constructive in, you know, just do something that helps me to develop better discipline, things like that. Um, the more I keep delving deeper and deeper into the rabbit hole of the fitness world, and I actually just did a rant on this on my Robinson DUP fan page, so feel free to check it out. Um, I'm just getting more and more annoyed, pissed off, aggravated, and just honestly disgusted. It, it's, it's beyond ridiculous as to what's going on in the fitness industry and that it continues to happen. And part of it is those who are preaching about fitness and health and well-being, one, sending a, a, a double standard message and incorrect messages while, while they're at it, and people choosing on the other side to stay ignorant and buy into the bullshit. So here's the problem that I have. Constantly, time and time again, I hear things like eating clean, um, the stupid things on the holidays where you'll see like, if you have five cookies, you need, need to do 3,000 jumping jacks to burn off the calories. Um, and just constant reinforcement of good versus bad. And listen, you know and I know there are healthier options out there um, in terms of eating a healthier carb source with a better macronutrient profile than an Oreo. Okay, We know this. We know every day that we wake up that a sweet potato, macronutrient-wise, is a much healthier option and a more satiating option than eating processed sugars. We know this. this is, at this point, it's redundant. It's stupid to keep going over the same thing over and over again. But the reason why I get so aggravated is this elitism uh, marketing pitch that constantly is being jammed down our throats. And what I'm seeing... All right, guys, sorry. Had a quick interruption. But what I'm constantly seeing are trainers and other people saying things like, or even guilt tripping their clients into believing that if you eat it, first of all, this statement I just saw the other day, which was completely untrue. You won't get fat off of eating clean carbs. Okay, I'm gonna prove that theory wrong right now. Said trainer who put that out there, I want you to do something. I wanna take, let's say you're eating 250 grams of carbs of clean carbs. Okay, I want you to double that number. Double it. So now you have to eat 500 grams of clean carbs a day. Now you're in even a higher caloric surplus above your maintenance. I wanna see how much fat you don't put on. Okay? Try it. So that's statement number one that I've blown up. Statement two is I keep hearing, oh, fasted cardio is the most effective way to burn fat. Also a bullshit statement. There are plenty of studies that have proven doing fasted cardio is in fact slowing down fat loss. You bros and you NPC morons need to shut up and actually learn how the human body works. Okay? Fasted cardio is no better. None whatsoever. You're actually usually better off eating something prior you know, to your workout, probably a couple hours before. That way you have a more effective fat loss um, ability during your workout. And also to do it post weight training, not prior. Get over it, it's scientifically proven. If you want to, go look it up. I'm sorry, you're an idiot. If any trainer or any person thinks they cannot have a macronutrient, whatever, they need to completely cut it out of their diet, you're sadly mistaken, okay? Protein matters, carbohydrates matter, and you need healthy fats in your diet. That's how the human body works. Okay? Your body needs something to produce energy from. Let's get that out of the way. There are trainers out there who are talking about finding balance. They're balanced. When well, they're the furthest thing from it. Okay? They're sitting there behind their Instagrams and their cameras promoting balance and how well balanced they are and they can have a little fun and all this kind of stuff and they're lying to you. They're lying to your face. You know, they're promoting balance to you then, but behind camera when nobody's looking at them, they're panicking that they had five cookies. They're panicking that they drank a beer. They're now doing extra cardio. They're starving themselves the next two or three days to balance off the caloric surplus. They're all liars. Does this make sense to anybody yet? Are we getting the picture? There are people using drugs claiming natural. There are people using fake plates in their pictures to make themselves look stronger. They're doing one thing, they're doing one thing but saying another. 
Practice what you preach, all of you. We are responsible for the message we send. People are supposed to emulate us. Healthy, normal behaviors. We're supposed to encourage a healthy body image. We're supposed to be comfortable in our own skin. Bodybuilding helped me develop confidence in myself, but my, my confidence isn't wrapped around bodybuilding. If I place first or I place fifth, doesn't define my self-worth. Yes, do I want to win? Absolutely. There's no point in competing unless you're supposed to win. But the entire journey for me is about progressing, getting better. So even if I don't get the placement that I wanted, as long as I came back better than the time I did before, that's what really matters to me. That's not a loser's mentality. That's a winner's mentality. I learn, I learn more through my failures and my successes every day. Ladies and gentlemen, be careful what you're worshiping. Be careful the marketing pitches that are being delivered to you. Nobody should have to tell you what to eat every minute of every goddamn day. You shouldn't have to be sold a meal plan. A coach like myself and others should be, even though I understand the structure, a coach should be able to hand you a set of macros and you should be able to follow it. Plain and simple. If you need somebody to tell you you shouldn't be shoving your face full of Oreos all day, every day, and that should be the staple of your diet, then you have an issue with food. Don't compete. Never step on stage. Never hire a coach based on cheat meals. If you have body image issues and you have food-related issues, I suggest you find a professional that can help you with those problems. Getting into the fitness world and the fitness industry is not for you. And those of you that are in the fitness industry or hiding behind it, shame on you. Our message should be more responsible than that. All right, guys, if you want to see the rest of the rant, please go to my fan page. I'll talk to you guys later.